What is up guys, my name is Asteroid and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the previous episode we made it here to Tapu Fini's shrine or whatever, and uh, we also got to witness Hapu, I'm pretty sure that was her name, Hapu, become the uh, the Kahuna of Pony Island. If you guys didn't miss that episode, definitely make sure to go back and check it out. In today's episode we're going to be continuing on hopefully encountering Sogaleo and Lunala. I, I know what's happening, alright? I know what's going to happen soon, we're going to go to the to the ruins and we're gonna get to see the story unfold but a uh, bit of a disclaimer I haven't recorded this in like two weeks I think the last time I recorded was a while ago so I am going through some serious withdrawals but uh, let's go over the team real quick I think it's about time we do that so here we are first up we have my boy Cypher level 38 with the fiery MZ with flame burst toxic nasty plot and sludge bomb we have peekaboo with shadow sneak swords dance shadow claw and leech life we have Sean level 37 with Rock Slide, Swords Dance, Sand Attack, and Bite. We have Mob level 37 with Scald, Aqua Ring, Fan Attack, and Brine. We have Hawk level 37, which hopefully we'll be able to evolve him today. He is the final member on the team that has yet to evolve. And I'm pretty sure we can evolve him by leveling him up one level in Pony Canyon, so I'm looking forward to that. And then last but not least, we have Houdini level 39 with Swords Dance, Razor Leaf, Spirit Shackle, and Pluck. So our team is looking pretty fire right now. Not gonna lie. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully adding Lunala to our team. So here we are on Ancient Pony Path. Can we get that item? There are some trainers down there. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and skip them. You know, because I'm not really in the mood to be fighting trainers. These past few episodes have been very trainer heavy. And I think what we have to do right now is just head back to... Um, I don't know what the town is called. I forgot what it's called. Pony Wilds. Okay, let's go ahead and run over here. So... I'm pretty sure we could have just flown back on Charizard, but it's all right. It's all right. We're here. Everything is good. All right. I do want to heal up very, very soon. All right. So what's going on? Hello. Long time no see. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped because now we're finally going to be getting going to be getting some story progression after the previous few episodes with all the craziness that happened in Aether Paradise. I'm excited to finally hear the end of this tale. I doubt we're going to finish the game today. I'm almost certain we're not going to finish the game, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully these hopefully, hopefully with these next few episodes, I can speak, I swear, uh, we'll be finishing up this game. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. Man, it's been a while since I've done their voices. That's what friends do. F friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Oh, isn't that just... Isn't that just emotional? Thank you, Hapu. I'll not give up no matter what. Honestly, I've, I've been so, like, iffy about Hapu's voice. I feel like I've nailed Lily's voice. But Hapu, I've just been kind of all over the place. I don't know. The journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the Chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. Is that a good voice for her? I really don't know, man. Mudsdale! <laughs> so we gotta go to Executor Island, which is a separate island that is away from Pony Island. I'm looking forward to this. I'm pretty sure we're trying to find the, the Moon Flute. That's our objective right now, right? I mean, as I said, it's been so long. If we're going to Sea Folk, give us a ride, then I guess we we'll talk to the Chief. So yeah, we have to get a ride from one of the Sea Folk and head out of Pony Island. I feel like, like we literally just got here and we're going to be leaving. So it's interesting how they have you branch off of the main island and visit some other smaller islands. I like that a lot. Anyways though, if you guys are excited for today's episode, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you want to answer the question of the day, I don't know what it is because I don't prepare these things ahead of time. Whatever it is, uh, definitely make sure to go ahead and answer. We have another technical machine shop. Is there anything interesting here? I mean, Sludge Wave. We don't have the money for any of these, but Sludge Wave could be pretty dope, especially if my boy Cypher can learn it. So instead of uh, selling stuff and then stocking up on TMs, I'd rather buy some potions because I feel like we're going we're to need some of those. We do have a good amount of hyper potions, but we can use more. So there we go. I think this should be plentiful. Now let's go ahead and rearrange the team because you guys know everything has to be in numerical order. No exceptions. Where's my stylus? There's my stylus. Sorry about that. Okay, so Cypher and Peekaboo are pretty high leveled. I want to get Hawk up front because we're going to be evolving soon. And I feel like when Hawk evolves, everything is going to change. Like, his moveset's going to be changed. Um, like, how his stats are distributed is going to be changed. Like, I'm going to be I'm going to be editing a lot of stuff when it comes to Vickabolt. Because Vickabolt is vastly different from Charge Bug. Because uh, its special attack stat is through the roof. 
Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that we have a minus special attack nature on Charge Bug, which kind of sucks. But, alright, so where do we go? Is this where the Chief is? No, I don't think this is where the Chief is. The Chief was that one guy with the Pelipper, right? So we gotta go ahead and find him. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for your support on this series. I know that I've been kind of taking my time with it. Um, and I know, I, I know pretty much everybody has beaten the game except for like Vinny. But I mean, oh, we have to go over here. I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, so like I know I'm kind of falling behind with this game, but I'm really enjoying it. You guys are still really enjoying it, so I appreciate your support. Did you find her? Is who's speaking? Oh, that that's the guy. Yes, Napu has made the was made the new Kahuna. Oh, that's a joy to my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Napu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do for my best for my mother's sake and for Nebi as well. And so there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island or to find the flute. Let's just say Executor Executor Island because I feel like to find the flute is a bit vague. Executor Island, oh you mean where the flute is? Oh he knows, he knows all about the flute. Well, you sure did meet the Kahuna already. A pony's captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point waiting on any trials. Alright, so the SS Magikarp will have you there, and you'll think and you'll think you're sailing in a dream. The SS Magikarp. What what an what what a name, what a name. Wow, it is actually a Magikarp. This is pretty cool. Let's go! Bye, Pelipper! The SS Magikarp. That is actually dope. I like I like how all their ships are like centered around different Pokemon. Yo, this island is awesome. Executor Island. Ha! Here we are at Executor Island. I heard that this place used to be a trial site, though that was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to both of you. Let's go find that flute. Right. Trainers really can't go anywhere as long as they have the Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm able to understand the appeal. Okay. Yo, what if Lily... What if Lily is, like, the final boss? Because, like, I, I know of the relation when it comes to Cosmog and Cosmoem and the legendaries. Um, I'm not going to say it just yet, just in case you guys don't want to be spoiled about it. Because it, it is a pretty big spoiler. Um, but considering their relation, how cool would it be for Lily to be the final boss and have... You know who as their ace. That would be pretty crazy, man. I mean, I don't think it happens, but that'd be pretty crazy. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future. I didn't read that. I don't know why I clicked the A button. Before I figured, uh, or finished, I should say, reading her dialogue. That was definitely a dumb move on my part. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Asteroid and Hapu, and how to. So many H names. You know what? My, my, what, my, my, well, what? Huh? Is that an executor? Why do I feel like this place is just like swarming with executor? Ah, what is that asteroid? <laughs> that is so dope. That is so dope. The tree just attacks us. Uh, even though it looks nothing like an executor, but it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Anyways, though, what was I talking about? About Lily being the final boss? I don't know what I was saying, I forgot what I was talking about. Man, today's one of those days, I'm just in one of those moods where like... Wow, that's powerful. I'm in one of those moods where I'm just... I'm just happy, you know? I'm excited to be back. But at the same time, I'm kind of tired because I slept in all day and then... I was up all last night. So I'm a little bit like, out of it, you know? And we did stream for like, four hours last night. So on top of that, it's just... It really has a toll on you. You know, when you're talking for four hours straight, and then you stay up all night, and then you sleep all day, it kind of just feels like, ugh. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Level 38, let's go! Oh, I'm excited, man. I don't know why, I'm just hyped. This game has me hyped again. Phew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think that the good- wait, is the tree just, like, gone now? I think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I prefer. Yo, what is she doing? Was that like a sexual innuendo? Is is that what that was? It was that was that what I think bruh game freak can't be because like She said that and then she started smiling like that. I 
Ugh, game freak, game freak. So the tree is gone. That's funny. That's funny. So what can we find on Executor Island? I mean, I would assume we'd find Executor. I mean, that, that'd be my assumption. We found a Pelipper. What are you doing on Executor Island? That's really, I, I'm still, I'm still stuck on that, on that uh, in, innuendo. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm still stuck on that, man. Is, is that really what I think it was, or am I just thinking too much into it? I don't know. Why can't we run? Hawk, why are you not Sanic? Seriously? Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Like, I, I'm just getting hung up on that. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But yeah, this island is beautiful. I love the close-up camera angle we got going on here. So there's only one way to go. Let's keep going. Oh, it's raining. I like how we're traveling with Lily, though. That's really cool. Like, Lily has been with us throughout the entire game, and it doesn't seem forced, you know? I like how it feels like we're on, like, an adventure with other people, and not, we're not just, like, a solo, a solo trainer. Oh, it's starting to, it started to rain. Oh, no. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise, by the way. Alright. I guess here we, oh, now we're in the cave. I thought we were gonna, like, continue. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Hey, this is a PG channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Game freak, my dude. <laughs> Looking out at the rain like she she's like 12. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this of this one time when I was little. I seen it in a movie. This man is singing it. Is this a reference to an actual movie? This man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me on the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching a, catching a cold. She then she then let me sleep in her be big bed with her. I was so happy and I kept waking her again and again just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed and all she would think about was the Ultra Beast and Noel and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Asteroid? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time you show me that it's possible to do something, even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um, Asteroid? What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Fill my Pokedex, get stronger. Probably get stronger. In my, in my other copy, I'm probably going to finish the Pokedex, but in this copy, we're going to get stronger. It must be nice knowing that you want to do, or what, knowing what you want to do. I really admire that. I think I'd like to become a trainer too and travel together with you, Asteroid. Aw? Aw? Man, that's cute. That's cute. I, I know, like... I, I like the character development. I really do. Uh, Ga Game Freak is doing a good job with this one. Man. Ah! Okay, that was- that was too- too perfect of timing. Maybe there really are good omens- omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? Man, this is actually really cool. This is actually really cool. I, I don't know, like... I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about that. I think... I think it's cool that we got some character development out of Lily. Um, but I, I, find, I find it interesting that... I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. But I'm liking the little moments we have here with Lily. Like, L Lily seems like a pretty significant character. Like, she seems like... She seems more than just, like, someone that you would travel with. Seems more than just, like, a rival. Yo, look at the mini-map. This place is tiny. This place is tiny. Alright, let's go this way. Nothing over here. Very linear. So do we have to, like, I thought that cave was gonna be somewhere, like, that we have to go in and, like, freaking, you know, do the thing. But I guess not. Alright, but there's the flute, it seems like. What's up? I like how it's here for anyone to just take it. 
Asteroid! A flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Oh, that's not Lily speaking. That was, that was the game. Yes? Yo, that flute looks dope. Alright, now we have the moon flute. So now we can summon Solgaleo and Lunala, right? Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute. I don't really, I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sounded the flutes in offering like people usually used to do. So thanks for coming this far with me, Asteroid. There's no way it's that easy. There's no way it's that easy. Right? Or I, I, I guess it is that easy. Okay, that, that was kind of cool. It was like a little bit of a detour, but... I don't know, I, I liked, I, I feel like, you know, I almost feel like that point or that part of the game was just there so we could have an excuse to sit in that cave with Lily. Like, that was literally the only reason why I went there. We didn't go there for the flute. The flute, I don't know, the flute was like second hand almost. You know, we went there for the character development. Look at you, trial goer, you're going to the altar to play the flutes. The altar lies all the way through the vast pony canyon. It's a long road there. I don't know why my voice changed. That path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're going off before you go. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm like all over the place when it comes to voices today. Let's keep going. I really want to evolve uh, my boy Chargebug today. I really do, my dudes. I really do. Anyways, though, I want to give a quick thank you to everybody that has joined the Labyrinth Legion over the past few days. Literally, ever since the Soul Link went live, we gained, like... 400 subscribers, which is crazy. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the channel Hopefully you guys enjoy the content um, If you guys aren't aware as to how I do things I like to put a lot of time and effort into editing my videos and um, I Try I try to be entertaining. That's the best. That's pr pretty much the best thing I can say about myself um, But yeah, the moon series I've kind of been lackluster with editing but like usually when it comes to like other LPs I put a lot of time and effort into editing uh, and like putting a lot of cuts and making the making the episodes very entertaining. When it comes to Moon, the main reason why I haven't done many edits and stuff is because I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Moon is just better experienced as like just like a fluid experience. You know, when it comes to like Nuzlocks and stuff, it's really easy to do like cuts and crazy edits and to make it really really fun and entertaining. But like Moon, I feel like the game is just new, and I would rather experience it uh, in the most vanilla way possible. If that makes any sense. There's an item out there. We're gonna go ahead and grab it. See, I just feel like like if you don't have any cuts and it's just like a natural, seamless flow of the new gameplay, I feel like it's more natural. Also, when it comes to this, I'm able to produce the episodes a lot faster. Yo, that's a Whalmer. That's pretty dope. It's like when the first came out, I was able to release a lot of episodes in a very short amount of time. And, uh, and, and seeing as we're still playing the game, and it's been like two months, uh, almost three months now, I feel like... I feel like it's about time, you know, we should probably pick up the pace a little bit more, so... Anyways, we got a Dust Stone, which is pretty dope. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. And also, I want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's been coming out uh, to the live streams. Our shiny hunting streams have been so much fun. Uh, like, legit, I've been enjoying those streams so much. And very, very soon here, we're going to be having live Wi-Fi battle streams. Uh, so look out for that. But it's just awesome to see you guys come out and support those shiny hunting streams. Um, it's fun to be able to just interact with you guys, and it's just, it's a good time. It really is. Oh, wait, 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 I think we have to kill this thing or else it's never going to go away. Right? We're not going to be able to grab the berries? Yeah, we need to kill it. We need to kill it. Okay, um, but yeah, it's just awesome to see, like, just, just, just how awesome those streams have been, you know? I don't know, and we haven't gotten that many shinies. We only got two shinies, and we're, we're working on Mimikyu right now, but, I mean, who knows? Maybe by the time this video, actually, no. I think this video goes out today, the day that I'm recording this. I was going to say maybe by the time this video comes out, we would have already had the Shiny Mimikyu, but... Nope, not yet. Not yet. Hopefully we get it soon, though. I think within the next week or so, we'll get it. And I want to give a bit of a teaser as to what's to come next. Because you guys know right now, uh, we obviously have the Soul Link. We're trying to finish up Moon. We have Wi-Fi battles now with Sun and Moon. What else do we have? We have Battle Spot Friday, which I'm going to be bringing back soon, hopefully this week. Um, what else? What else? We have the Shiny Hunting Streams. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. So, very, very soon, you guys know we did the Black 2 Metronome Lock, and that came to an end. 
And it, it kind of seems like Fire Red and Leaf Green is, is replacing that. But in reality, we're going to be having, um, after Moon ends, we're going to be having another solo LP to go alongside Fire Red and Leaf Green. So I've, I've actually been pretty far ahead, like, pre pre prepared wise. Like, I've been prepping for the, for the next series. And I'm just telling you guys right now, it's going to be awesome. Like, I'm so excited for what's to come in the future. And it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. So where do we have to go now? We have to go to Vast Pony Canyon, right? Which is this way. I don't know about you guys, but this grass is really annoying me. See, I've actually been preparing ahead of time. So like after Metronome Lock ended, um, I commissioned the GFX for our next solo LP after Moon. And initially this series was supposed to take over for Metronome Lock. But then the soul link started sooner than expected. And then the GFX um, is going to be a little bit before it's ready. So I think in reality, this series should replace Moon once we're done with this. And I'm not sure how much more left we have of Moon. I'm pretty sure we have, you know, this final, the final trial, the grand trial, this story stuff. We have the Elite Four and the Champion. And then I think that's pretty much it. We might go ahead and do episodes for all the legendaries. So I don't know, we'll see. I want to try and upload this series daily if possible until we finish it. Uh, I've been trying to do that. Hasn't really been working out too well. Especially with like Soul Link and all the stuff I had to uh, do involving that. But yeah, I'm really excited for the future. Hopefully you guys are as well. We're going to go ahead and heal up Hawk real quick. I'll have you guys know, I legit just tried to click my, my L button on my... You guys can't see it. My L button on the DS to try and speed up. Because my I'm a PS3 controller when it comes to emulators and stuff. Um, I used the, the right trigger to speed up. And I, I just instinctively tried to speed up on my DS. Oh man, alright, let's keep going. Yo! What's going on? They made a barricade. I like how Team Skull is still relevant. Like, even, even after their leader is gone. You're from Team Skull. What is it you want from us? Here they come. I heard about your Nub Skulls at Aether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk even if we have to cut, cut you to the bone. Wait, are we going to have to, like, work with them? To save Guzma? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, it's getting real! Ah. 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 Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go, enough dancing. Enough dancing, dancing. She leads with the Fomantis. Interesting, interesting. I like your taste, I like your taste. I'm actually using a Fomantis. Well, it's a Lorantis now. I'm using a Lorantis in my other copy. In my, uh... My Sun copy. And it's a dope Pokemon. I really like Fomantis and Lorantis. There's my boy, Cypher. So, they're gonna try and force us to tell them... To tell them how to save Guzma. Because obviously they want to save him. Which is very interesting. So there's a Sludge Bomb. It is going to demolish this Fomantis. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, you don't even have the chance to launch off your solar beam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and care, I'm trying to boost our affection so we can get those, uh, those boosts. Man, look at my boy. Look at my boy, let's wipe that off you. Let's wipe that, wipe that mud off you. Hey, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and give you, so I'm not sure how the, the berries work or the beans work. Oh, I like how he uses his hands like that. I've actually never used... Or never done uh, Salazzle in in Pokemon Refresh. I, I don't know how you gain those beans. I think it's through Poke Pelago, right? Because I'm almost out of them in my Sun copy. I gotta try and get more. Okay, so you cut me to the bone. Ouch. Do we have to battle all of them, please? Oh, Plumeria. Yo, Plumeria. Plumeria is still like irrelevant. I like I like when she does show up though. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all of our Pokemon at once. Then little little home slice. We'll give 200% to save our boy Guzma. Yo, what? Is this like a horde trainer battle? What? What is this? Oras? What is this? Oras? Is this actually Oras? Yo, please. Ah! I was hoping for a horde battle. That would have been so dope, man. I actually really like that feature in, uh... In, uh... In, in Oras. Alright, so we have Sean here. He leads with the... To land it. Man, we are pretty under leveled, not gonna lie. You guys were telling me to grind. Uh, I probably should have. I probably should have. But then again, then again, then again, I didn't want to leave the cave and then like 
have it do more story because I wasn't sure. Also, I, I don't, I don't know. We're doing okay now. You know, unless I see that we're noticeably suffering and like the challenge is like unbearable, like we legit cannot win, then I'll start grinding. But I think for now, I think we're good. I know we're going to be facing some pretty difficult challenges up ahead, and that could be interesting, especially considering we uh, didn't do so well against Guzma. But I think we're okay. You know, our team is, is holding in there. We're doing a good job. Bite is not quite going to kill. He does, out, he does outspeed me, so I'm going to go ahead and swap. I'll go into my boy Mob. Man, I love Mob so much, and I've been really getting into uh, Sun and Moon Wi-Fi a little bit. You guys saw the video. Hopefully, I think it was yesterday I, I uploaded it. Um... But yeah, trying to get into Sun and Moon Wi-Fi. Once again, if you guys do want to battle me, follow me on Twitter, at Asteroid Videos. I'll be looking for more battles over there. And also, a bit of an update on Showdown Masters Challenge. I'm bringing it back. I promised I was bringing it back, and it's happening. I just, I, I, I need, I need the tiers to get separated, or else this kind of defeats the purpose. A lot of you guys probably don't even know what that series is. And if you guys don't, it is in a playlist uh, on my channel somewhere. Well, it's called Showdown Masters Challenge, and it's like a game show-esque type of... I, I don't know, it's, it's a different way to go about battling on Showdown, and it's it's fun, alright? Aquatail, is that something that I'd be interested in? I mean, our special attack and attack is equal. So do we really need this? Base 90-90. Skull's base 80. You know what, let's get, a, let's get rid of Aqua Ring. I know we're gonna have like a lot of water type coverage here, but whatever. And I, I know Scald is good as is, but Aquatail is going to give us a bit more power. So, I mean, I, I guess it's worth it. I guess it's better than, better than Aqua Ring. He sends in Raticate. We're going to go ahead and swap and go into Hawk because we have that X-Scissor. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a Vikavolt. Vikavolt is probably one of my favorite 7th Gen Pokemon. And it sucks that it takes this long to evolve him, but I, I kind of like that, man. It makes him different, you know? You know, because like every other game the bug type like route one pokemon always evolves within like the fur the first area before the first gym you know and now now we got a bug type pokemon that is crazy strong uh not really fast but we got a bug type pokemon that's crazy oh yeah sped us speed tie hello come on man come on man why you gotta do this but yeah now we got a bug type pokemon that like it takes effort it takes a lot of work to get one, and it's so worth it too, cause like, I don't know, I mean, I think it's worth it. Vikavolt is insane. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull out that Shadow Sneak. Oh shoot, it's, no, it's normal type. I forgot it was normal type, it's okay, it's all right. Let's go for that Leech Life. He goes for the Sucker Punch. Honestly, if I had to say my favorite part about Mimikyu is like, it's little, little shadow thing that comes out of its cloth. Like that's so menacing, I just, man, Mimikyu is my favorite seventh gen Pokemon. You know, at first I was a bit iffy, like I loved Wishy Washy, I still love Wishy Washy, but I love Wishy Washy, and um, I love Savali and stuff like that, but I think Mimikyu definitely takes the cake, and the main reason is because of the shiny. Like, I'd say Wishy Washy and Mimikyu are pretty much on par, but the thing that sets them apart is the shiny, because Mimikyu's shiny is just so good, it fits him so well. Wishy Washy's is kind of like, eh, like, eh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the Z-move. I know Marini's pretty bulky, but hopefully it should not be able to live this. Let's go. I want to use a Decidueye in competitive. I, th I think soon I'm going to build a team around uh, around my boy Houdini. Alright, but there is the nice and powerful signature Z-move. I honestly, I feel bad for everyone that chose, that chose Primaria. Because if you play the Z-move, if you if you have footage of the Z-move in, um, in the video, it actually gets copyrighted. People, people have been getting claimed because of Primaria's Z-Move. Like, that just sucks, honestly. I don't know why Game Freak is still still claiming videos for that. The game is out, you know? It's not like it's a secret. Alright, Golbat, let's go ahead and swap. There's a lot of Pokemon. A lot, a, lot of, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of threats, a lot of threats. Let's go into my boy Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu's got this. Golbat is a little bit concerning. I wish I could have went into Sean, but Sean's kind of, kind of weak. A little bit low on HP. These grunts are putting in nothing but the finest. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Swords Dance, I think. He shouldn't be able to knock us out here. Uh, we can live this, right? We're totally cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're eating that. There's Swords Dance. I don't know why I'm, like, having trouble speaking today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, guys are having a great day, though. Today... What did I do today? I slept. 
I woke up, I edited a video, which is actually rendering right now as we speak. Um, Yo, Shadow Claw's animation is dope. Why did that not kill? That was a plus two Shadow Claw, man. Peekaboo, you're stronger than this. I know you are. I know you are, my dude. But yeah, I edited a video, and then I started recording this. I watched a bunch of YouTube. Oh, I've been watching, um... Actually, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about it in a later episode. Yeah, I watched a bunch of YouTube, which is pretty dope. We're gonna go ahead and care for our Mimikyu, because my boy Mimikyu, he is, he is my man. Ah, oh, look at how adorable he is. Look at how adorable he is. <laughs> I love him. I love him. He's so cool. I want to see like Mimikyu. Like I want. I want to see Mimikyu forms of other Pokemon. I really do. I want to see like, like a Charmander Mimikyu. Like how how cool would that be? Yeah. Oh, they're all dead now. Rip, rip, rip. I'm not giving up. Even though you beat me, I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. I forgot what voice I gave her. Man, she's so she's so sassy and chill and I don't know. She's pretty cool. Heh, <laughs> you girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even though I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to be is to see how strong he was. The president? My mother is... She's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. Man, I really hope we get to go into the Aether world. Or not Aether world. What? Into the, into the Ultra Space. I, I hope... I really hope it's like a... Like a Platinum type situation. Where you get to go into the Aether... Aether why am I saying Aether? Into the Ultra world. That'd be so cool, man. Ah! It's, it's like... It's like the Distortion world. Like, how cool would that be? You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction. But I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've got no reason to help. But no one can make up for what they've done if they're gonna. And you, Asteroid, looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took down... You, you, you even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of our little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poisium Z. Wow, so Plumeria is like... Uh, Team Skull has like fallen in, into ruin. Because... Because Guzma's gone. And like, they are like a family. You gotta realize that. They're like a family. So with Guzma being gone, it's gotta, it's gotta hit them hard. And now we're kind of like... Now we're all working towards the same goal. To rescue Lusamine and Guzma. What, what an interesting plot point, man. What an interesting... I, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Asteroid? You better take care of it. That's one special Z-Ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. Alright, she's a cool character. I, I, like, I like how she... Like, Team Skull isn't even really... Yeah, like Lily's saying it right now. Team Skull isn't really evil. They just... What is it? They're, they're just a family that sticks together and they, they do what they need to do to survive, I guess. I don't know. I suppose even Team Skull is not all that bad. Thanks for helping me again, Asteroid. And here, let me thank your team, too. Hey, hey, That was, that was good. Alright, Asteroid, let's go to the altar. The vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. Oh man, I, I love this. I love this. I love this. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you guys. Yo, look how many Z-Crosses we have. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Pokemon Moon Let's Play. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Next episode should be live hopefully tomorrow. That's the plan. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!